Welcome back. We are so excited to continue our conversation with the cast of the number one hit Netflix show, Never Have I Ever. That's right. Today I'm bringing you my interview with Risha Morjani and Porna Jagannathan, who play Davy's mom and cousin on the show. We talked all about breaking lazy stereotypes, what it was like to work with Mindy Kaling, and their friendship when the camera stopped rolling. Congrats on the final season. Thank you. I know you guys have become really close in real life, mm -hmm. too. A little what, bit. A, just a little bit. What's your go-to thing that you FaceTime each other about these days? Everything. Oh, my God. I wish it was something that we didn't FaceTime. It's inappropriate FaceTiming. Like Most what? of it's really inappropriate. Like what? I don't know. Like it's a lot <laughs> of outfit situations. Okay. Yeah, right? yeah. A lot. But also, like, uh, you know, even after the show, when I went on to do my next project, mm. I was like, oh my God, what am I going, I don't know anyone here. I was terrified and I remember calling her when I was getting my makeup done on my first day and she just immediately made me feel like I belonged there, even though she wasn't there. I Aww. love that. Yeah. I love that. We, we FaceTime a lot. We FaceTime almost every day. Yeah. And it's, um, it's just Richard is like the person that I call with good news, the person I call with bad news. Yeah. It's just, it's just that, that person in my life, just a, unbelievable anchor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about thinking back to the very beginning, like season one, what were your first impressions of each other and are there any impressions of the rest of the cast that like really stand out to you? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I feel like over time, like Richard's just, just blindingly beautiful, but over time, <laughs> the, the learning how her insides match her outsides are just mm -hmm. stunning. It's a stunning revelation. Aww. Thank you. I was a huge fan of Pornas before I met her. Yeah. So I was like a fangirl when yeah. I met her. <laughs> but I didn't know that one day we'd become best friends. So it was just, um, and, and you know, obviously we've gotten to know the rest of the cast so much since the first time we've all met. And it's just been so amazing to have, feel like we've actually all grown up together on yeah. this show. Did you play it cool when you met her? Or did you let her know you were Not a fangirl? Not really. I was <laughs> majorly fangirling. <laughs> so nice. I don't know. Did I play I it cool? That. I don't know. You're so cool. For good reason. And Porna, you've gotten like so much recognition for how you play Davy's mom. Oh, People yes. love it. Oh. What does it feel to be getting that recognition for such a multi layered way of playing the Indian mom? Oh. Well, it's. Uh, not so much recognition of the characters, recognition of the power of nuanced writing and writing for a character that's never written for, which is the immigrant mom, which is just like relate to um, to the background or into really lazy stereotypes. So mm -hmm. it's really the what happens when you give uh, a, a, a character uh, a three dimensional life. Uh, it, it it is the you know, the, it's so easy for me to perform this. It's so easy for me to mm. have an incredible bond with not only the cast, but with Davy yeah. because of the writing. You yeah. Know? And to show this parent figure that you don't see often in any kind of television, the parent that's strict and parent that's struggling and parents of grief and parent of joy. It's, it's, it's. And sexuality. Sexuality. Everything. Yeah. yeah. I love your relationship with Davy in it too. It's just, it's so fun. I'm really close with my mom. So it's really Aww. fun to watch like the mother daughter dynamic. Yeah. And so many too. people watch this show with their parents yes. or with their yes. mom. Yeah. So many Indian moms yes. have come to me and, and told me I watched this show with my daughter. And I'm, I, I just think that. that's, I never had a show like that to watch with my mother totally. yeah. when I was growing totally. up. Totally. Yeah. Well, the show is amazing for so many reasons. And I, like you said, it's layers. I love how multi-layered it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how, and I think a lot of that comes from Mindy Kaling, you know, co-creating yes. and executive producing yes. this show. And Anne and Langfisher. Her, yeah. Anne Langfisher and their relationship to their yeah. parents who have passed as well. Yeah. yeah. The, um, Mindy's mom and Lang's dad. Yeah. What's it been like working with Mindy Kaling? And is there any advice she gave you that really stuck with you? Oh, wow. Great question. Um, to be part of the Mindyverse is just a whole other. I could stay. If this show had a sequel, and then it, I would do anything that she wrote. Anything, anything, anything that any she wrote. Part, I would do any part, any size, yeah, anything. Her sense of humor, but she's also just you know she was such an icon, but she's so funny and so, so funny. approachable and so involved. And I always tell like we, she always encouraged us to bring our full selves yeah. to set. So suggestions on script and outfit and food we ate and what everything she was she was open so, so open to collaboration and she's just she's such a giving person not term in terms of just um physical well physical too but she's just such a giving person with everything and also yeah. like the power of a female-led set sorry oh like, yeah totally. yes. we are ruined forever it's totally different it's yeah, so hard yeah. to be on a set that does not have that now <laughs> yeah. i love that i have that on my show too and i feel so grateful yeah for it too. it's so rare it's amazing yeah it's different 
Well, great job. Thank you so much for chatting Aww, with Studio 13 Live. Okay. Our time is, this has been great. It goes so I fast. Wish I know. could be longer. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, <laughs> Thank guys. You. You can catch the fourth and final season of Never Have I Ever on Netflix right now. I really wish we could have talked for longer. It's always so hard squeezing everything you want to ask into this five-minute interview, but I really enjoyed talking with them. Um, I also met them the night before we shot this, and I just, you instantly pick up on their real-life relationship there, so it was fun to just start the chat talking about that. What a fun True. opportunity. Thank you for bringing us along. It oh, was yeah. so fun to watch. I know. It was great. Hopefully, much more to come. Absolutely. Um, also, you did something very cool recently, I did. which I'm excited to check out. So a new modern Indian restaurant opened in Seattle that blends innovation with culinary artistry. Yeah, tell very, us about it. Very fancy, very delicious. Okay, so I'm taking you to Mint Progressive Indian, where I had the chance to learn how to make one of their most vibrant, flavorful dishes from the southern part of India. It was so special to get to learn from such a talented chef. <laughs> progressive Indian has arrived to the heart of Seattle. I wanted to bring something new to Seattle, which is this progressive Indian cuisine. To me, progressive is, it's fun, it's new. Elevated but not stuffy, a beautiful scene with, of course, some mint colored decor, but I am taking you behind the scenes. I'm in a kitchen, it is time to get cooking. Lucky for you, I'm not the one doing the cooking. I have a chef here with mint and we are gonna make something delicious. What are we making today? So we are making southern fried cauliflower. So it's basically from the south part of India and it is like flavor is tangy flavor with the flavor of the curry leaves, mustard and we'll serve with the coconut chutney. This is also from the south part of the India. All right, let's get into it. Chef walks me through the whole process of making what is one of their most popular apps. Now we are on to the main event. We are gonna start coating the cauliflower. Yes. And now into the fryer so we can get that crunch just right. But if you're trying this at home, you could opt for an air fryer for that crispiness without the mess. Now the gloves are on. All right, it's time to start plating yeah. and I get the help. <laughs> so for the plating, we have the coconut chutney, what we make. Mm -hmm. Then we have the 65 sauce, whatever we make. And then we have the sour cream. And th this is the mint chutney. All right, chef, how did I do? Yeah. Uh, good? You can, you can try right. my dish. And you can try mine. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Isn't it gorgeous? Wow. Let's see. Oh, you are so civilized. I'm over here just. <laughs> That's fine. Mm. Oh my goodness. And I love that you walked me through all of it because I can taste all the flavors. Can't miss out on this, it's delicious. So, so good. And I love just regular cauliflower anyway, but double fried, oh boy. <laughs> Mid Progressive Indian open six days a week and you can make reservations online. We do have a link on our website. More information for you, fox13seattle.com slash studio 13 live. We can get behind a fried vegetable. We definitely can. And why fry it once when you can fry it twice, That's you right. know? <laughs> Double the fun. <laughs> yes, and don't forget if you have a restaurant or a bar that you think we gotta feature on the show, let us know. Studio 13 live at fox.com. Yeah, that was a really great package. Thank you. Now I wanna go eat some cauliflower. <laughs> Coming up.